In this video I'm going to show you how to check the TPM version in Windows, and how to enable TPM 2.0. For those who might not be familiar, TPM stands for Trusted Platform Module, and it's a security chip that's built into most modern computers. Windows 11 requires TPM version 2.0, so if you're planning on installing or upgrading to Windows 11, you'll need to make sure that your computer has TPM 2.0 enabled. To check the TPM version, let's open the TPM Management Console. To do that, simply press the Windows key and the R key at the same time. This will bring up the Run dialog box. In the Run dialog box, type tpm.msc and press Enter. In the TPM Management Console, you'll find all the information about your computer's TPM settings. If TPM is enabled, you will see the TPM version listed under the TPM Manufacturer Information section. If, on the other hand, if TPM is not enabled or not supported on your computer, you will likely see a message that says, there is no compatible trusted platform module in this computer. Even if your computer has a TPM chip, it's often the case that TPM is disabled by default in BIOS. To find out if your CPU supports TPM, first check the motherboard model and then refer to the manufacturer's website or user manual. To enable TPM, you will need to enter the BIOS setup and locate the TPM setting. The name of the TPM setting can vary depending on your CPU type. For Intel CPUs, it's usually called PTT or Intel PTT, while for AMD CPUs, it's typically referred to as FTPM. In this computer, we have an Asus motherboard with an AMD CPU. To enable TPM, we need to press the F7 key to enter advanced mode. Then, we need to navigate to the Advanced section and click on AMD FTPM Configuration. Finally, we need to select Firmware TPM from the TPM Device Selection drop-down menu. If your computer has a different setup or a different CPU type, don't worry. The process to enable TPM might vary slightly depending on the motherboard and CPU manufacturer. For customized instructions specific to your system, I recommend visiting the manufacturer's website or referring to your computer's user manual. They'll have detailed guides to help you enable TPM and ensure your system's compatibility and security. And that's all for this video. I hope you found it helpful in checking the TPM version and enabling TPM 2.0 on your computer. Thanks for watching.